Good morning everybody, it's Angela here from the Mayo Road Design Team. Today I'm going to show you how I created the camera memory box for CHA Summer 2013. I created the um, memory box using the Say Cheese chipboard album from Mayo Road. Now the album does come with your front sheet which is the die cut page and then five extra pages. You'll also need um, a piece of chipboard sheet um, which I'll show you later why we need that. Now also ladies for the project I did use Simple Stories 24-7 paper range. Now I do like Simple Stories for the simple fact that you have so many elements on the one page and you don't have so much wastage with your sheets because you can use it all up to create um, your pages and different embellishments. Now the first thing we do need to do, um, which I've gone ahead and done um, ahead of time, is our front die cut sheet we need to cut um, in half more or less. But we don't directly do it in half and we do not do it on the pre-score that May Road has on their front sheet. I actually cut it as it starts to do the curve down here on the side. Um, so we cut it down there. So all I did was draw a line on the back of the sheet and then use my trimmer and cut it. Then you will need a piece of chipboard which I've gone ahead and cut. Um, now that sheet is the same width as your camera page and one and a half inches wide. So there we have three pieces to our front page. And you, as you, we go along, you'll understand why we have the three pieces. Now, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll cover the front page, front and back, and our extra pages, front and back as well. Um, it's a lot easier to cover your pages before we start constructing the box because it's very hard to get your shape. Um, so all I do is I trace it onto my pattern paper and then proceed to cut out. And as you'll see, this is where I've got the snapshots of life on your middle sheet, on your front page, sorry. It doesn't quite all fit, but you get the general idea as to what the project was like at CHA. So we'll go ahead and we'll cover all our pages and um, then we'll start con to construct the box. Okay ladies, now that we have covered our pages, um, we will need three, the three pages to actually construct the box. So that will be the front, and this will go behind the front, and that will be the back. But I'll show you how they all go together. Um, now you don't have to be exactly neat in your cutting around, um, because we are going to cover them up with the embellishments. Like so, you can see I've used the You Have Been Framed embellishment from Mayer Road, which goes over that little hole. But now I'll show you how we actually construct the box, putting it all together. Ladies, for this part, I'm going to use a hot glue gun um, because it's instant and a lot quicker. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue across here. And don't worry if you make a bit of a mess because we do end up covering it up. So we make like a little shelf there. Now we're going to put the front slot in. So we'll go across here. So there we've got our step down. Now for the next step, what we need to do, we need to glue a base page to the front of the project to give it stability as shown in the picture here. And I've just put blue clips on the side of it 
so till it fully dries so now that we've done that ladies we have got to put our our back piece on our third one so this is where the extra chipboard sheet comes into it um, we're going to make our our floor and our two sides now ladies I proceeded to go ahead and I've cut out the base plate of the memory box now it's roughly four and a half inch by six inch now it will become your floor of your camera box like so and we'll one hot glue gun at the bottom to attach that to the box the hot glue gun just makes it easier and quicker without actually holding the project for the glue to dry And then we'll just hold it there for a couple of minutes to take hold. So now all we need to do is to make our sides. We can take the ball clips off and we'll need our chipboard sheet. and we'll, I'll just cut down some strips to make it easier to handle now ladies I went ahead and I cut a strip of chipboard now the easiest way to do this and it is a little bit tricky I will, I will guide it there against the box so I can get my template and I will put a pencil mark across there and up there so I know which way to cut and it's roughly going to be this high so I will so there we have got our pencil mark and we're roughly going to go across there so I will get my ruler and straighten the lines I will cut that out sometimes it takes a couple of times to get this right but it will the size of it will all depends on what width you're going to make your memory box as to how many slides you're going to put into the top part So there we go. And yeah, and that'll go into there like so. So I will proceed to go ahead and cut the other side and I will cover them with the pattern paper and then we'll attach them onto the box. That is to make the project a little bit easier, I use the Xyron Creative Station to run my little pieces through so I can attach them to the chipboard a lot quicker
Now that we've got our two pieces that we templates that we cut out and we've covered them, I find it easier just to manipulate the chipboard cardboard a little bit so you can get a, a bit of a guides on there better. Okay, so what we have to do is we have to glue that to the sides like so. And the easiest way I find to do this is with a hot glue gun again and you can do it in stages it is a fiddly fiddly job to do but it's worth it in the end so we'll just put the glue gun all around the edges and we'll just go up to the sides there. We won't go all the way, we'll do it in stages. So we'll sit that onto there and we'll press it down like so. You will have to manipulate it a bit to get it on there And some of my glue gun's gone off already. We'll have another go. Don't worry about if you make a mess with the glue gun, because we can clean that up. starting to get it on there now. We can clean up the edges a bit. I'll hold it there for a little while. Sometimes it does take a couple of goes with the glue gun to get it. Yeah. And we'll proceed to do the other side. So now that we have constructed our box and we've just given it a little bit of time to dry um, and be more stable, um, I choose to sand all the edges. The edges are very, very rough. Um, but I just sand them back a bit. Don't worry too much about it because what I done was I cut strips of the pattern paper from Simple Stories and I went around all the edges, glued them down to finish off the pro uh, project like so. <clears throat> and how I decorated the front of the box was that I used the new wood you've been framed chipboard and I glued one up there. Then Maya Road also has these really cute journey tins which I use one of the lids. You've got the large and you've got the small. So you can choose whichever one you want and I glued it in to the hole there. 
Okay. So now, um, one of the sheets for our insert into here. Not that one. We create. We covered one of the sheets and we inserted into there because we have that backing board there. It doesn't go all the way through. It just sticks out as a display. And you can use um, the little you've been framed vintage woods and glue it onto there as so and put little photos in. You can put some cool ball clips into the side. And as you can see with um, Simple Stories paper, you've got um, all the different patterns in the sheet so you don't have to do too much. You can get some film strip and you can attach it to your memory box. Now when you uh, <coughs> want to make your slides for the box, in like so, I cut the curve edge off the pages. I just cut straight down there so they can slide in and out. Also you can put the ball clips on there as well so they don't fall all the way through so they can stick up a bit like so. May Road also has other cute little embellishments that can be used on your projects all of the new wood shapes. You've got the light bulbs which are really really cute and you've got the frames as well. You've got the um, transparency clocks which look really cool on the project as well. So basically ladies it's mainly up to you, your imagination. You can go along and decorate all your box up however you wish to do so. Thank you for joining me today um, and showing you how I created the camera box for CHA Summer 2013.